Pheochromocytomas are mostly benign tumors of either the parasympathetic or sympathetic nervous system, and they produce catecholamines like adrenaline. They're known for causing the triad of sweating, headache, and palpitations. Although they're rare, they have serious complications, such as hypertensive crisis and myocardial infarction. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Let's start with their etiology and pathophysiology. The adrenal glands are pyramid-shaped glands that are in the posterior abdomen above the kidneys. They consist of the outer cortex and the inner medulla, which is dark brown and contains chromaffin cells. Signs and symptoms are due to tumors of these cells, hypersecreting the catecholamines they produce. Although 90% of pheochromocytomas occur here, 10% occur extra-adrenally, like in the sympathetic ganglia, and these are called paragangliomas. Although these tumors occur sporadically, 40% are associated with hereditary disorders like multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2, von Hippel-Lindau syndrome, and neurofibromatosis type 1. On history, theochromocytomas often present with paroxysms of headaches and palpitations. Anxiety and abdominal pain are also common features too. On physical exam, you might notice that the patient has diaphoresis. You should also check the patient's weight, as weight loss is another important finding. Furthermore, it's vital to monitor their blood pressure, as an acute hypertensive crisis can commonly complicate this presentation. Theochromocytomas can be diagnosed by documenting hormone excess and then localizing the tumor. People often mistakenly think that the first thing to do is order adrenaline or noradrenaline levels. However, they're released episodically and often result in inaccuracy. Instead, it's important to screen for their metabolites by checking the serum and urine-free metanephrine and normetanephrine levels. As tumors are rare, borderline elevations are usually false positive. However, when levels are three times higher than normal, the diagnosis is essentially definitive. The next step is to localize the tumor with a CT or MRI. Finally, it's important to perform genetic screening to screen for inherited disorders like MENS and VHL. The mainstay of treatment is surgical resection with a partial or total adrenalectomy. Preoperatively, it's vital to establish an alpha adrenergic blockade using phenoxybenzamine and then a beta blockade. If this isn't done in the right order, it can be disastrous. When a beta blocker is first given, a paradoxical rise in blood pressure occurs because of unopposed alpha-mediated vasoconstriction. In general, the surgery should be performed with an experienced anaesthetist capable of managing a labile blood pressure intraoperatively. To remember the management of pheochromocytomas, you really have to remember the order of drugs you give to the patient. I remember A, B, C. Alpha blockade, then a beta blockade, and then cut. The classic rule of TENS for pheochromocytoma might help you to remember that 10% are bilateral, 10% are extra adrenal, and 10% are malignant. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Townsend Teachings.